Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another timeless pick a card reading. So today I wanted to do something I've never done before and that is to see if we can paint a picture with the cards. So what I'm going to do for each group is I'm going to draw one card from each of these decks to represent the tip and I'll put that up here and then I'll shuffle a whole bunch of cards to represent the iceberg. So we're going to explore for you what is the tip, so what is the outside world seeing of you, but what's your iceberg, what's really going on, you know, there's always a lot more going on in our lives than what the outside world may see of us and I thought that could be a fun thing to explore today. In the quotes jar we've got a whole bunch of random quotes from all kinds of incredible thinkers. I'm pretty sure Yogananda is in there, Krishnamurti is in there, Hafiz is in there this time. So we've got quite a variety and more. So, and of course you can see what doesn't make it on Instagram. I'll put a post there as well. So that is the intro this time. Feel free to choose from between group one, group two or group three and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there group one, if you chose group number one then you are in the right place. Let's shuffle these cards. We want one card to represent the tip, the tip of the iceberg. So what is it that people see when they spend time with you or you know, what's the, what is the outside world seeing? All right, let's take that. So that's the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> now let's shuffle for the iceberg. Okay, how do I want to do that? Okay, we'll do tarot, we'll do three tarot, and then we'll do three oracle cards as well. I hope you're having a great week wherever you are. Here in Australia it has been, it's been pretty stormy actually. It's been um, quite grey, quite stormy, even a bit cool even though it's summertime. All right let's see take that one and then see when I visualized this in my mind I thought I had a lot more room but I don't. <laughs> Doesn't matter we will do the best with the space that we have. One day I'd love to get like a huge okay huge table and a very different camera setup for this type of thing. It would help to have more desk real estate. Okay what's poking out? I'm going to take this one and this deck. So three separate oracles. I'm going to try and be good today and not draw. Well let's see if I can get away with not drawing any clarifiers. Okay what do we do? Do we do the tip of the iceberg? I'm kind of tempted. Let's look at the tip. All right, let's 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 see. Let's see what's on top. What are people seeing? Oh wow, how fantastic, the sun. Okay, that's awesome. So this is what people see when they see you, when they meet you. If they're on the outside of your life, they see this radiant, charismatic person. The sun is also typically associated with Leo, Leo energy. Let's take a look at the oracle cards next. Oh wow, so you've got love in your iceberg. Fantastic. Gee, this is a great group already. All right, so we've got love. Now I want these to be upright building blocks. Okay, wonderful love and building blocks. So this is good. Group one. It's a great start. Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. This is the fourth chakra, the heart chakra. Notice there's a lot of green here. Archangel Raphael, his color is green. And of all the angels, of all the archangels, this is the healing angel. This is the one that can mend anything broken physically or emotionally, he can mend a broken heart. You just have to ask for his help and his guidance and he will be there and he will help you. 
So this is a beautiful iceberg so far, group number one. I'm impressed. All right, let's take a look at what we have here with these three. I'm pretty sure I've got that right. Okay, let's take a look at the first, the hermit. Yeah. Now here, as I said, we've got Leo energy, okay? So perhaps outwardly you come across as a Leo type person, but perhaps if we were to dig deeper into your astrological setup, we would find that you actually run a lot of Virgo energy. So maybe you've got, for example, Ketu in Virgo, something like that, South Node in Virgo, something along these lines. So the Hermit is quite an interesting card here especially to have in connection with the iceberg because there's a lot of depth in the hermit archetype. Oh, the Ten of Cups. Wow, group one. This is sensational. This is just amazing. I mean, this just keeps getting better. Ten of Cups. This is a beautiful card. This is love this is yes love romance this is um but this is more than that the ten of cups is feeling emotionally satisfied it's attaining some kind of incredible dream that you've wished for all your life and you have it that's amazing wow now i'm really curious to see what this third card is Nine of Wands, yeah. So this card is very much representative of you're nearing the end of some kind of uh, cycle. There's a cycle that wants to close out. You might be weary, you might be exhausted, you might be quite tired, you might be working quite hard. And this, this has quite an iceberg feel to it. This card and the Hermit here, these to me are showing that deep iceberg, the stuff that people don't see. It's, it's really interesting that, and the building blocks as well. You're working really hard. This always comes up for group one. You're a very hard working group. Virgo as well, very hard working energy here let's have a look these three you've been working hard but i'm telling you something is shifting in your world group one massively building blocks yeah building blocks you've been working hard this also fits in with virgo virgo works very very hard and then here we've got more kind of you're coming to the end of a cycle another way to read the nine of wands is that you, maybe you're, you're a bit guarded and you're reaching, yeah, definitely reaching the end of some kind of cycle that definitely wants to close out. But I'm very amazed and very impressed that what is in your iceberg, uh, group number one, is, is love. It's, it's your dream. It's, it's kind of like you have all the energy present deep within you and within your subconscious mind it's like the energy is there the energy is all there and it, i think it quite it matches the tip it matches what people see as well which is really wonderful because one of the things when i was thinking about this type of spread was to look at how different is what you've got going on internally to what the outside world sees. And for you, group number one, there's a lot here that is consistent. A lot here is definitely consistent. This is beautiful. And I'm not particularly feeling the need to draw any extra cards. Isn't that amazing? There's a lot of love here. And one of the other ways to read, so one of the other ways to read these three is that you've got a really huge heart, I would say. And perhaps, so these two are definitely signifying that you've got a massive heart and incredible dreams, incredible things that you want to do and achieve. It feels like the energy is all here for that. 
So if you're not experiencing this right now, know that it, I don't think it's going to take much for it to come in. I think you're completing a cycle and this is just going to appear. Whatever this great dream is that you want, you know, there's a rainbow here. Look at these two. They're incredibly happy. There's love here. So this can manifest in all kinds of different ways. It doesn't have to be in a partnership or family or friends situation. It can be whatever you visualize and dream as being your, you know, your ten of cups. That feels like it's, it's going to come in. And I think it's going to happen just when you finish this cycle. Whatever this is, it's really this. This is the only thing that's delaying the manifestation of your true heart's desire. And I'm not getting the sense that you need to work any harder because I think you're doing that and I think you're, it seems like you're consistent at that and that's going well. So keep doing as you're doing. Perhaps you just might need to focus on your heart chakra a bit more or to ask Archangel Raphael to help you complete this cycle. Perhaps this cycle has to do with your heart and how you feel. But overall, group number one, this is lovely. <laughs> it's a great iceberg. <laughs> um, so yeah, fantastic. All right, well, let's draw some quotes from the quote jar and let's see what comes through. All right, let's see. Kind of guidance we get. All right, let's see, let's see. Let's take these two. See if we need more in a moment. Okay, easy is to judge the mistakes of others. Difficult is to recognize our own mistakes. Anon. Yeah, this came from Instagram and it was a kind of Buddhist type thing. It had Buddhist and I think Chinese style visuals with this quote. It was very beautiful. Easy is to judge the mistakes of others. Difficult is to recognize our own mistakes. And this is really tapping into the heart here. You know, um, it's easy to use the mind and to judge, but it's, it's harder to live out of our hearts and love ourselves. You know, that's, that's not so easy sometimes. But we must always know that everything can be healed. I believe this. I believe everything can be healed. Everything can be forgiven. Everything can be transformed. Everything can change as well. All right, let's take a look and see what the next one is. Everything is perfect in God's creation. Ignorance and suffering exist only in the minds of people. Ramana Maharshi. Yeah, definitely. And this is quite interesting because we've got the word perfect here. And this is this card. This is Virgo energy. Virgo energy is very much about perfection and finding perfection in chaos. And then we have this quote, which is to say everything is perfect in God's creation. And really, to me, that is the recognition that is found in Virgo's opposite, which is Pisces. That's where we recognize that all is one. Everything is exactly as it should be. Ignorance and suffering exist only in the minds of people. Absolutely. Which goes to show that you see ignorance and suffering exist only in the minds of people. Ignorance and suffering are illusions. That's not real. And this is reminding me of another quote by Brian Weiss, who said, only love is real. I love that quote. That helps me a lot. That helps me kind of, and you know, that, that would probably be helpful with this quote as well. Only love is real. 
And it's easy to judge. It's easy to be in the mind. Yeah, wow. Do you know, let's take another one. I'm feeling greedy. Let's take one more. <laughs> You've got a great iceberg, group number one. <laughs> Uh, you got a good tip as well. <laughs> All right, let's 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 read one more. And then, oh, this is stunning. Yes, yes, yes. I remember when I was writing this one, I was like, I have, I have to put this quote on my Instagram. Consciously free the mind and into that free and open mind, however limited it may be at the beginning, the contents of the unconscious, the hidden, will be projected. This is the definition of meditation. And this is so good. This quote I absolutely love this quote because if you regularly meditate then you will deal with your own shadow you won't need to project it out into the world for the world to then slap you around kind of thing right like you can deal with your own shadow by yourself when you meditate and that is because of the contents of this beautiful quote I'll be making a, a post on Instagram this is stunning this quote yeah so i uh, another thing this is indicating to me is i think you're actually you're healing yourself and yes you can work with the likes of you know archangel michael who has stepped forward uh, raphael here who has stepped forward but i actually think you're doing a terrific job of self-healing and that's what this is showing me um also we've got this leo card here leo people are self-made that's another thing about the sun the sun you know kind of yeah makes itself sort of thing oh beautiful group number one this has been an incredible reading thank you so much for tuning in please let me know how you got on in the comments below and i look forward to seeing you next time hi there group number two if you chose group number two then you are in the right place let's shuffle and see what is the tip of your iceberg what do people see of you in the outside world you know maybe what do your friends think your co-workers what is it what are the outside people what are they seeing and then we're going to draw cards to represent the iceberg i did this just now for group number one and it worked a treat so i'm happy this idea is working out <laughs> because i actually let's draw these and then the oracle cards so this is tarot yeah, this turned out to be a cool idea. I just thought of it like, I um, can't remember, I think it was a few mornings ago, it just popped into my mind. So I thought, oh, okay, it's a cool idea, I'll do that. You know, like through the cards, we're kind of drawing a picture, painting with cards maybe. All right, because I can't paint any other way. <laughs> Oh, well, I can use those, uh, what is it, Illustrator and Photoshop a bit. I can do a bit of that. But I can't, like, you just give me a piece of paper and a pencil or something. I can't do very much. But that's okay. All right, let's take one from here. Hopefully I'm shuffling these well enough because one of the things I notice is that very often we get repeat cards. So... Let's see. Okay, well, we're taking that. <laughs> Here we go, cornucopia, brilliant. Well, you've got good things in your iceberg, I can tell you that for sure, look at that, beautiful. All this abundance, prosperity, sunlight, is that a, I think that's a butterfly, yeah, it is. Okay, so great portion of the iceberg, but let's see, let's see what the tip is. Oh, wonderful. This is incredible energy. Wow. The Empress. People see you as an Empress. Okay. So let's take a look at your iceberg and see what's going on. So the tip of the iceberg, what do people see when they first meet you? And that, that could be like looking at the Aruda Lagna as well. You know, before they get to see all the placements kind of thing. But let's see what your tarot cards reveal, and then we'll take a look at your oracle cards. Oh, fantastic. We've got great energy here, guys. Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. That's wonderful, wow. 
this is an amazing start and that's amazing oh gosh okay let's see what's next oh how beautiful the lovers wow this is great i'm really curious now <gasps> the king of cups my goodness who do we have here this is wonderful okay great 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 I mean, this is just so amazing. Let's keep going. We know we've got Cornucopia right here. Ace of Pentacles, I mean, that's the best wealth card you can get or a new beginning in wealth. You can read it that way. The lovers can mean choices. We've got the King of Cups. So that's your masculine energy that's feeling incredibly open and loving and warm and, you know, wants to nurture. Cornucopia, that's amazing abundance there all right let's see what we've got so gateway right okay this could be a gateway to all these new incredible things oh imagine wonderful this is incredible energy everything is amazing here and if you're not feeling if you're feeling like well how can that be my iceberg? How can that be my tip? Maybe, you, maybe you're feeling like, whoa, I, I don't, I'm not relating to this or, you know, but let me tell you, I think sometimes in our mind, if we're overusing our mind, we don't actually see what our reality is. And I think for you, I, I do think there's a lot in your reality to be enormously grateful for. And I feel like an outsider looking in would be looking at your life going, gosh, what an amazing life. Look at that person. You know, they're healthy, they're abundant, they're radiant. So people are looking in at you totally impressed. And they're seeing this incredible person who is ready to thrive. Now you might not feel that way, but let me tell you, there are lots of people who would view you from the outside and, and be really impressed. So that's wonderful. So your tip is incredible. Can't get better than that. <laughs> now the iceberg, what's going on under the surface of you that only you know and that you experience? I think there's so much good energy here and this could be showing me what your dreams are as well. So whether or not the outside world is reflecting this, it doesn't matter because this is the energy that you've got inside. You're very loving. Your masculine side is, is loving. It's, it's ready and willing and wanting to love. It's a very good card, the King of Cups. So that masculine side of you is, is very, very loving. You've got the lovers here. Okay, now this doesn't always necessarily mean a partner. It can, or that a partner is coming in, for example, it can. But one of the classical meanings of this card is just choices, that you have choices. And I think if, if you're not particularly experiencing these things right now, I think this spread is asking you to dream very big and dream fearlessly, enjoy the dreaming, keep clocking up the good energy within your iceberg because it's going to manifest. It's going to be, and if it's not this right now, if you're not feeling this empress person right now, it, this is your tip. This is ultimately what you are growing into. So keep going is definitely a message here. And look, you've manif what you've manifested just here, just now, is just so... I couldn't dream this up. Ace of Pentacles, look at that. The Ace, it's the best money card. It's a new beginning, but it's also a new beginning of massive abundance. So this is just... wow. This is money, this is love. And you're being asked through these two cards really to imagine. 
to imagine the best that you can imagine right now. And don't worry if there are any videos like some of the ones I make about the dangers of fantasy thinking. This is not that time. This is the time for you to go for it, to really imagine big and dream. And this is, this is very Pisces and, and dream what you want and fantasize away and go crazy, you know. The gateway, the door that you're going to walk through where you are going to be able to claim this stuff is coming. And that could be this year, this year could be the year that where you are really experiencing some of these things. This stuff is coming in. Oh, I'm so impressed. Group two, this, I was impressed by group one. And now this has blown me away even more. So this is amazing. This is a high energy group tuning in. I'm so impressed. Wow, this is great. So thank you, all of you for, you know, drawing these cards through me because when I draw these cards for myself I'm telling you I don't get stuff like this <laughs> so we've got some really powerful manifestors in the audience today I don't I and I, you know what I don't really draw these things for myself now anyway I will watch other readers though so I think that's always the better way because they say that you can't you can't always be intuitive for yourself because you are close to your own desires so your own desire energy can actually block and cloud intuition and i think that's quite true so sometimes this is why you know people who work doing this type of stuff actually do still need to consult others because uh it's not so easy to do this stuff for yourself it's like a dentist has to see another dentist kind of thing um, <laughs> all right let's have a look so it says, don't mix with others too closely. Friendships do not satisfy us unless they are rooted in mutual love for the Lord, Yogananda. Yeah, that's really beautiful. And there was another quote that I heard that was like this. It was by, I'll see if I can remember it. It was by Maya Angelou. And it said something like, a lady should hide her heart so much in God that her man needs to find him, him with a capital H, God, before he can find her. And I thought that was a really stunning quote as well. Yeah, it's kind of like, and Yogananda speaks of all this kind of thing quite a bit about don't just go for the trivial or amusements, you know, everything should have some purpose and some design. And I think that is what you're visualizing here. I think you're visualizing and creating an incredible future that's abundant that has love that has everything you could ever want and it has a lot of purpose and meaning too why because we have the empress here okay she is responsible she's you know yes she's abundant yes she's beautiful yes she's giving birth and all these incredible beautiful things right so she's she's amazing but she she's a responsible person as well and i'm sure that within your vision you are also building in a tremendous sense of purpose in all that you do. So that's, that's a great quote to receive with this spread. Wonderful. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Oh, how lovely. Love is a world itself. Either you are in at the center or you are out yearning. Shams, Tabriz, Tabrizi, yes, yes. Yes, I love this. This is great. And I think you are in at the center. And if you're out yearning, I don't think it's going to be long before you jump into your center. And your center, which is center of the iceberg and even the tip what the tip that others outside will see when you come into the center it's glorious it's amazing what you've got here wow group number two this has been stunning i i'm not going to add anything to this i'm not even going to be greedy and draw another quote because quite frankly 
I don't need to. This is all just too beautiful. So thank you so much for drawing these incredible cards through me. Don't worry if it hasn't manifested yet. It will. You, and it seems like you're being given a sign to dream up a bit more. Clock up some more dreams because when the wheel of fortune turns, you're going to be cashing in. You're clocking up, you're clocking up great stuff and you're going to be able to pick up and, you know, experience some incredible things when that time comes. So hang in there, group two. Keep working. Keep being you. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you're in the right place. Let's shuffle and see what is the tip of your iceberg. So when people meet you or see you or experience you, what do they see? And then we're going to draw cards for the iceberg. What's really going on in that vast life of yours? You see, because people only ever get to see a very small amount and we want to find out what's going on. And the first two groups were out of this world, guys. So if you, I don't know what we're going to draw here. Let's find out. But if you would like to, I can, I now know what's in the first two groups and it's amazing. So if you want some pick me up energy, you can try one of those, but let's see what we get here. Okay, that one popped out pretty quickly. Let's see what is in the iceberg of your life. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Okay. Oh, that's sticking out. Let's take it. <laughs> All right, so let's see what the tip is. All right, the Ten of Wands. So what the outside world sees is someone who is, and the first word that's popping into my mind, interestingly, is mature. People are seeing you as a well-traveled, mature person. I think you have worked incredibly hard. They probably also see you as working really hard. They also probably see you as being really responsible as well. So you're a hardworking person who takes responsibility. And I think people, when they first meet you, the tip of your iceberg, there's something about you that lets people know, that lets people know that you're, you're, yeah, I'm getting the word seasoned, mature, you know what you're doing, you're responsible. Wonderful. That's a good tip. Let's take a look and see. <laughs> I kind of want to open these, but let's see what's here first in your tarot. So we've got the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Wonderful. We've got the Five of Wands. Yeah. So the, the iceberg is revealing some interesting things so far. Oh, the King of Cups again, but it's a different King of Cups. One of the things I like about this deck is that it's a kind of gender neutral sort of a deck. So we've got a masculine depiction of the King of Cups here, but we did actually have the King of Cups in the previous reading. Isn't that interesting? That always happens on my readings that there'll be two of like two or three readings will even have yeah, the same. It's quite amazing that that happens. So we've got the King of Cups here, and I think that was in the same position in the last reading as well. Okay, beautiful. Well, this is a good iceberg so far. I'm really liking it. Let's see, and it's matching the tip as well. Solitude, wow. Yeah, that's a nice iceberg card. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Higher power, wonderful. I think we had that last time for you as well group three and the thinking woman oh fantastic well we've got a very deep persona here and I felt group one was quite deep as well but I like this this is nice too oh where do I begin so there's consistency here between 
what the outside world is seeing and what your iceberg contains as well. So, and that was one of the things I was wondering with this concept that, you know, would we have things where like the tip is superficial and there's a lot of deep, you know, interesting stuff going on beneath. You, you do have some interesting stuff going on here. But there's consistency, there's, there's a resonance. So, you know, yes, there's the tip, but as people get to know you, it matches. So that thing I was saying about people see you as being mature and responsible and all that kind of thing. Well, yes, your iceberg is supporting that. So we've got the Seven of Pentacles. You are the kind of person who will pause and assess. So you're not just running blindly trying to manifest or create things. No, you are considered. You're, you consider as you go and I would even say that you're prepared to to change course if you have to. Now this card here, the Five of Wands, this is about competition. And I think you're quite skilled actually at competing with other people and you've had to compete. I think you've probably been in some testing or, or difficult situations where, yeah, you've had to compete with other people. You've possibly had to be quite strategic in life as well. You've had to think through moves a few steps ahead. Yeah, we've got a very deep thinking person here because your iceberg is quite deep. It's quite amazing, actually. You're very loving as well. So you're not just all mind, okay, which is great. You've got a big heart as well, a big generous heart. You have that. I'm kind of, now I'm seeing another dimension to this as well. So you've got a fantastic mind. We've got the thinking woman. And don't, don't mind if, say, for example, you're a man watching this, or equally, you're a woman watching this with the King of Cups here. This is all, these are just, this is your feminine side. This is your masculine side. And I'm seeing an equal balance between the head and the heart. And it's even more equal because it's the thinking woman and it's, you know, the masculine has the heart energy. So again, there's balance there too. So that's quite incredible. That's wonderful. But you've also got this spiritual side to you as well, where you, I would imagine you would need um, solitude. Okay. And you need that solitude in order to connect in to your higher self, to God, to feel that you are a part of the all. So you've got that as well. Incredible. You've got the thinking side, the feeling side, the emotions, hard working over here. You are going towards your goals, but in a measured, practical way where you will stop and reassess your change if you have to. And you've got this spiritual dimension too as well. So group number three, I think you've got quite a profound tip and iceberg situation in that. Your tip does actually show, so when people meet you for the first time, it does actually show, it, it does hint towards a big iceberg, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So that's great. That's here. And there's a lot going on. And I think you need the peace and quiet. You need the solitude. You need that. Karl Lagerfeld used to need solitude and time out and time to be introspective, time to be creative. He talked about this a lot, that creative people really need time alone. It's really important for them to have that. And I imagine with all this that you've got going on, yes, you could be creative, you could be... <clears throat> you can be all kinds of things. And I know we've got a lot of artists in the audience. We've got a lot of uh, we've got quite a few people who are both writing books and producing music. Uh, you know, 
and running channels and, and all kinds of things. You guys are doing amazing creative things. And I love hearing about all that because that always inspires me. <clears throat> because at any given time I've always got ideas, things I want to do. I just it's for me I just run out of time, you know. Oh I love this. Fear is the cheapest room in the house. I would like to see you living in better conditions. Yeah, definitely. And I think you know this. And I think you do live in incredible conditions, but perhaps life for various reasons does draw you into situations where you have to maybe you have to deal with other people's fear you know and possibly i mean you could be a healer or light worker or something like that as well definitely that those types of people are here in this group yes yeah and i think this fear that's being talked about is possibly you know you're probably helping people move into better real estate in their minds and hearts kind of thing yeah that's cool okay let's see what the next one is more is lost by indecision than wrong decision indecision is the thief of opportunity cicero was it cicero cicero i'm not sure I should look that up, how to say that. But yes, I like this quote a lot. More is lost by indecision than wrong decision. And that's this, that's the thinking woman. You know, she might be overthinking. And that's easily done. I know I do that. <laughs> well, I do meditate though, so... <laughs> Let's get another one. Let's see what else we've got in the jar. Oh, we've only, how have we only got two left? Oh, okay. I thought there would be another one. That doesn't matter. Oh, maybe we take them all. We don't have anything for Instagram. Well, let's see what this one is. Oh, I love this. This is a great quote. The one who plants trees knowing that he will never sit in their shade has at least started to understand the meaning of life. Rabindranath Tagore. Isn't this the most perfect quote for this tip? Look at that. When I was talking about this and I said that you are this mature, responsible person, you know, this is, this is quite Saturn really uh, here. This is the hard work. This is the, this is the person who's journeyed far and wide. The mature, responsible person who knows that, yeah, it's worth doing. It's worth doing this amount of work. If not for yourself, then other people are gonna benefit. And that's a very worthwhile thing. That's stunning, that's great. This is really a terrific quote for this group. Let's take the last one. <laughs> I won't leave it for Instagram. It's not so exciting to just Take a photo of one quote so we'll we'll take this now all right let's see oh cool this is one of those instagram things i found i love this tip of the day if it doesn't bring peace profits or purpose then don't give it your time energy or attention yet yeah, very simple but very good and again this is very saturn this is perfect for this tip you are this practical kind of person who knows this and who probably practices this. And that's important, you know. Yeah, peace, profits or purpose, absolutely. And peace, we've got the higher power here, you know, profits, well, we've got the seven of pentacles here. Purpose, we've got these energies as well, the thinking woman and the the King of Cups, perfect, yep. That's an impressive iceberg, group number three. <laughs> They've all been impressive this time. I'm, yeah, I would be so happy to pick any one of these groups. So thank you so much for stopping by everyone. I hope this has been a good reading for you. Please do let me know in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.